Greetings to Solar Strikers is our name. To be smarter and successful is our aim. We are smart, inclusive, kind, and efficient. It's one of the reasons why we're so proficient. Respect is given equally to each member, and we work hard all year, even past December. Over here, all ideas are encouraged and accepted, so our success and joy are to be expected. When Team 11210 unites, our innovation will be a spectacular sight. Yay! Hello viewers, we're called the Solar Strikers, and we are a first Lego lead team comprised of five team members and a coach. My name is Chin Mei, my role is the team ambassador, and this is my third year of the FLL. I have learned to be competitive and respect the opposition, also known as competition, and stay on task and work hard. Some of my interests include soccer, mathematics, science, especially chemistry, and just learning, just learning new things in general. How I got introduced to the FLL is my, t is my fellow team member, Shiavin, introduced it to me in grade eight. I decided to look into it and I joined the same year. And what I want to learn is I want to learn how to take charge more on certain things and increase my initiative. Hi, my name is Zidduk and I've been in the FLL for three years. My role in the FLL, or in our team at, uh, anyway, is the core values collaborator. My personal interest is math, basketball, and robotics. Two things I learned last year were that having a, co a complete plan or organized plan is a key to any team. And if a team has members that do their work properly, then that team will be very successful in the tournament. Uh, two, reason, uh, two things I want to learn this year is how to do more complex programming and how to have better pro, uh, presentation skills. The re one of the main reasons I joined the FLL was to get better at programming. Hello, my name is Shane Dick and I am the project manager of the team. This is my third year in FLL. Two things I have learned from the FLL is a lot about programming and how the EV3 works and how to take leadership in various things, such as the project. Some of my personal interests are music, math, and science. One thing I hope to learn this year in FLL is more in-depth about the programming aspect of the FLL and more complex missions in the EV3. How I got into the FLL was originally because I wanted to learn more about programming, but I quickly learned that there's more aspects to the FLL than just programming, which is the project and core values, which I also found very fun. Hello everyone, my name is Ozzy and this is my first year in the FLL. My role on the team is the organizer. I was introduced to the FLL by my fellow classmate and my extracurricular class, Shevin. Him and his father invited me to participate on their team and over the last month of preparing, I really enjoyed it and thrived in the program as a whole. Firstly, something that I've learned so far this year is how to better collaborate and work with my teammates. I found that before, I, before starting this, I was able to collaborate, but I would always lose focus. Since starting, I think I've improved a bit. Currently, my personal interests are all of the STEAM subjects, music, and sports. This year, in the FLL, I hope to learn, uh, I hope to learn more about complex pro programming and working with box robots. In the past, I've worked a lot with EV3, but mostly the base models. So I don't really know how to work with the box ones and this year will be a good learning experience for me as I hope. Hello, my name is Shavin and I am the techno director for this team. This is my seventh year in the FLL. Throughout FLL, I have learned various skills and techniques such as creating Gantt charts and infographics, not to mention great time management as well. My interests are all aspects of science and technology. I got into FLL through a friend uh, named Tharun, who used to be part of our community team. Originally, I was under the impression that FLL was a robotics only activity. However, I soon learned that there was a very interesting core values and project aspect as well. One thing I would still like to learn is how to debug programs a bit faster. On this channel, we will be posting podcasts, interviews, and EV3 demonstrations. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and visit our website link in the description below.